Hi, and welcome to today's training on Affinity Diagram. I'm Katie Lebeds, and let's get started. First of all, let's talk about our company, Learning to Lean. We help you work smarter through continuous improvement concepts. We offer services such as Kaizen facilitation, coaching and mentoring, and education. You can reach us at www.learningtolean.training or send us an email, info at learningtolean.training. So let's first talk about what's an affinity diagram anyways. An affinity diagram is a brainstorming tool. It helps us to organize a large number of ideas into their natural relationship. And the way I like to remember it is I love post-it notes because Affinity Diagram is the tool that uses a lot of post-it notes. Next, let's talk about why to use an Affinity Diagram. We use an Affinity Diagram to unlock creative ideas from your team. It helps us to solve problems and it helps to get those people that may be on the quiet side involved in a brainstorming activity so that everyone can participate. When should we use an affinity diagram? Well, you use an affinity diagram when your issues seem just too large or complex. You have many facts and it just feels like chaos or when group consensus is necessary. Those are all opportune times to use this cool brainstorming tool. Now let's look at how we create an affinity diagram. First, begin with a topic or an issue and state that to the team. Make sure you have an instructor or facilitator that's familiar with coaching and mentoring on affinity diagrams. Now instruct all of your participants to write their ideas regarding the topic or issue on individual post-it notes. Once they're done writing out all of their ideas, place the post-it notes on the wall or a whiteboard. Now sort the post-it notes to look for similarities. And similarities in this case is a good sign. Group the post-it notes by those similarities and put labels on each of those categories. Now analyze the results. If you have a problem and you're trying to figure out where to even begin, a great place to begin may be that particular category with the most post-it notes listed under it. Now, what tools should you use? Well, first of all, you need a room to meet. So whether it's a meeting room or an office, you need post-it notes and pens, or you can use a software application like Lucidchart, which allows you to do this virtually. Now let's look at two examples. The first example on the right is the example of using a Lucidchart. So Lucidchart is an online application that you can actually use for free and it allows your team members to work together and to collaborate virtually to create this affinity diagram. And down below is a traditional affinity diagram where they're using post-it notes and they've placed their problem or topic at the top of the board. Thank you for joining me today in our affinity diagram training. If you have any questions or you would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.